And now, BillyCBoxing.com presents Thumbs Up, Thumbs Down with Billy C. Here he is, Billy C. Thank you, Jeremy C. We're coming at you from the Billy C. Studio in Lake George, New York. I'm Bill Calagero, and it's time for BillyCBoxing.com's Professional boxing, thumbs up and thumbs down for today, August 29th in the year 2012. Uh, don't forget, uh, check out the Talking Boxing with Billy C. radio show uh, and television show. You can check it out uh, every single day uh, by visiting www.billycboxing.com or checking uh, a local radio uh, station near you for uh, their listings because we're on stations throughout the United States and Canada. But most of all, you can watch us every single day on the Fight Now television channel. And if you don't have Fight Now, you better call your local television provider right now and tell them you want Fight Now added to your sports channel lineup. It's that simple. Pick up the phone and call them. For all the information about the channel, find it on their website, will you? www.fightnow.com. All right. Thumbs up. Thumbs up goes to uh, the October 13th doubleheader featuring Nonito Donaire against uh, Toki Shaka Nika Shoka. And Bam Bam Rios against uh, Mike Alvarado. What a great doubleheader coming at us uh, on uh, HBO. One fight is going to basically put uh, youth versus age. That's the uh, Nonito Donaire uh, against the uh, Tokushaka Nikashoka fight. And then the other one is just a rock'em, sock'em, phone booth type of a center of the ring. I'm going to hit you as hard as I can hit you, and you're going to hit me as hard as you can hit me type of a fight. And that one. Is Bam Bam Rios against uh, Mike Alvarado. Man, am I looking forward to this doubleheader. What a great fight. I, I was psyched about it when it was first announced. They had a press uh, conference the other day. Uh, I'm just getting jacked up for this fight, man. Can't wait. Thumbs up for the powers that be. And, and let's, let's be real. Uh, you know, uh, this is, uh, uh, this is uh, uh, one of the, uh, the fights, the type of fights that we've been waiting for uh, on, uh, on HBO um, since, uh, since the power uh, has changed since the uh, uh, the big suits uh, have changed. So uh, we're looking forward to that, and I think we're going to see more intriguing matchups like these two fights uh, in the future. So thumbs up uh, to all the powers of B, including HBO, uh, for making that one happen. Thumbs up for the uh, sport of boxing finally moving aggressively towards eliminating uh, performance-enhancing drug use. Um, recent changes with the uh, ABC Boxing Commission uh, you know, using and all of the new, at least all of the uh, commissions in the United States agreeing to use uh, the same banned substances uh, as uh, as the Olympic style testing uh, is a step in the right direction. And also uh, some reports that came out yesterday uh, from Dr. Uh, Margaret Goodman, who's uh, uh, in charge of the uh, uh, Voluntary Anti-Doping Agency, uh, VADA, uh, that uh, they're actually even pushing towards uh, some other tests with uh, synthetic uh, performance enhancing drugs. I, I think we're finally starting to see the light. And uh, we got to give credit where credit's due to Floyd Mayweather. He kind of started, uh, you know, opening our eyes to everything, you know, having people realize that, you know, boxing was not, uh, you know, uh, protected from performance enhancing drug use. So a uh, thumbs up for uh, uh, the sport uh, heading in the right direction. We're, we're heading in the right We're not there yet. We're heading in the right direction, so I, I think it deserves a thumb up. I think uh, we also got to give a thumbs up to uh, Carl Frotch against Yusef Mack. It's scheduled for November 17th. Uh, I like this fight. Uh, you know, Carl Frotch uh, arguably has had uh, the toughest schedule in boxing for the last five years. Uh, not that Yusef Mack is a layup fight, but I like this fight. I think it's a, it, it's a good fight. It's, it's, a, it's a fight that uh, should prepare, um, you know, Carl Frotch for his rematch with uh, Lucien Boutte. Uh, however, uh, Yusef Mack is not a layup fight. So, uh, again, you got to give uh, Carl Frotch uh, credit for facing uh, the better than better opposition. Is that, is that good? But uh, you know what I mean. You know, thumbs up to Carl Frotch uh, and Yusef Mack uh, for making that fight happen on November 17th. And uh, finally, uh, thumbs up to uh, Ozzy Harris. Why am I giving a thumbs up to a guy that just got sentenced to uh, two to five years in jail? Well, I tell you, man, I'm from old school, and uh, although I'm not a big uh, Mayweather fan, and although I didn't like the the whole story that surrounded this case, I'm giving thumbs up to Ozzy Harris for one reason, for keeping his big yap shut. That's right. You know, old school, 
uh, from where I come from. You know, if you're ready to do the crime, you got to be ready to do the time. Or if you do the crime, you got to be ready to do the time. And today's world, over the last 15 years, I see a lot of you young people, you know, singing and squawking and uh, snitching out on your friends and everything else. And Ozzy Harris, he kept his mouth shut. And uh, as a result, uh, they tried to scare him, uh, trying to implicate Floyd Mayweather, and he kept his mouth shut. And uh, they said, oh, you're going to do 18 to 20, this and that, and he kept his mouth shut. Uh, he ends up uh, doing two to five, which means if he behaves himself, he's going to be out in two years. And I guarantee you, and this is only my opinion, I guarantee you that Floyd Mayweather uh, is going to have a bag full of cash waiting for Ozzie Harris when he gets out of jail. I got to give a thumbs up to Ozzie Harris for keeping his mouth shut and doing the right thing, man. Keeping your mouth shut. Not that I promote what he did because I'm totally against it and I can't stand Mayweather uh, being a gangster and all of this stuff thinking he's a gangster. But I got to give Ozzy Harris credit just for being a man and keeping his mouth shut. Similar to Michael Vick. So uh, thumbs up to uh, Ozzy Harris there. Uh, thumbs down. All right. Thumbs down uh, to whoever uh, is making the threats uh, that uh, are allegedly been uh, uh, to Sergio Martinez. Uh, or, or actually, the thumbs down is to whoever's saying that these threats are allegedly coming from the drug cartels. You know, listen, man, let me tell you something. If the drug cartels of Mexico uh, wanted to threaten Martinez, here's what would have happened. All right. Number one, they would have contacted Martinez to take a dive. That's what they would be telling him to. They wouldn't want him not to fight their guy. They would want him to lose to their guy. So they would have contacted Martinez to take a dive. Then, if he refused, then they would be threatening his life, okay? And if that was the case, Martinez would come out and say, hey, they asked me to take a dive and I didn't. Now they're threatening my life. None of that happened. I wish people would stop with the rumor mill. Yes, he probably got death threats. Like Lou DiBella said the other day, in, in a lot of big fights, fighters get death threats. That's the way it is. So uh, thumbs down to anybody that's trying to tie the drug cartels uh, in, with, uh, uh, in with the Sergio Martinez and Julio Cesar Chavez fight. Um, also, thumbs down to the city of Louisville for letting uh, Muhammad Ali's childhood home uh, be on the market for fifty grand. Listen, the assessed value is less than twenty five thousand. Why can't the city of Louisville buy that house, repair it? They could probably uh, offer the owner Steve Stevenson uh, thirty five to forty thousand for the house, sink another ten into it, fix it up, put it back in mint condition, and make it uh, a a tourist place, which it already is. It's a national landmark. Uh, but the truth of the matter is, is it should be Louisville should have pride in that building. Louisville could could create a job by by putting a guy in there and letting people come and take a tour of the place and charge him a couple of bucks or whatever. Man, I, I think it's an outrage that the city of Louisville is uh, is not uh, uh, stepping up and, and purchasing this house to have it on the market for anyone to buy and do whatever they want with uh, is crazy. So uh, thumbs down to the city of Louisville. Uh, also, thumbs down to uh, the whole team of Manny Pacquiao. That includes Manny Pacquiao himself, his manager, Mr. Kuntz, and, uh, of course, his promoter, Bob Arum. Uh, why? Because uh, Bob Arum says he's fighting on November 10th against Juan Manuel Marquez. Uh, Pacquiao's manager, uh, Michael Kuntz, says, uh, no, he's fighting in December. December 1st, we don't know who he's fighting against. Listen, man, I think it's ridiculous that they're doing this to this guy. Listen, there's three fights for, for, for Manny Pacquiao. Um, yes, uh, Timothy Bradley, in my opinion, should be the fight. That should be the fight, whether it takes place in November or December. It should be against Timothy Bradley. Then, if he wins again, which we think he should, then maybe try to get the fight against Mayweather. If not, forget about Mayweather and go for Juan Manuel Marquez. Juan Manuel Marquez, the fight against uh, Manny Pacquiao, does not lose its value. Manny Pacquiao could lose his rematch with Timothy Bradley. He could lose a fight with, with Floyd Mayweather and still sell a fight with Juan Manuel Marquez. To have a fight with Juan Manuel Marquez now could be the end of Manny Pacquiao's career. Law of averages say that, uh, and many of you think, that Juan Manuel Marquez beat uh, Manny Pacquiao at least two, if not all three of the previous fights. Law of averages say that Juan Manuel Marquez could beat him in the fourth fight. Why risk it if you're Manny Pacquiao's team? Fight Juan Manuel Marquez down the road. You need a W right now if you want any shot at fighting Floyd. Personally, I think that the shelf life of Floyd Mayweather versus Manny Pacquiao has expired. Manny Pacquiao needs a big fight, a big win. A devastating knockout over Timothy Bradley would get the fight with Mayweather. That's the fight Pacquiao's got to do. Hey, man, that concludes my uh, thumbs up, thumbs down for today. Make sure you tune in tomorrow. Ciao, baby.